So since forming Fall Out Boy again, 2013, doing your fifth album, you said you were kind of waiting for the band's rails to fall off so you can go do what you were supposed to do with your life. We need to know, when did you realize that Fall Out Boy was what you were supposed to do with your life? What was what you were supposed to do? I don't know. I mean, I expect, <laughs> look, I never expected that. <laughs> I'm so that, interested. Like, <laughs> well, look, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> right? well, obviously it's a Golden Corral chef. <laughs> no, seriously, well, Patrick. Have I'm there? super uh, interested. They should. <laughs> no, I mean, I, so I'm I, gonna take credit for the delicious food. That's all, <laughs> all I mean. Yeah. I'm just saying, I never expected that. Like, I'm. I, I can only speak for myself, but I do not feel like I'm a very obvious rock star. I don't think that that's like a. I'm saying I don't think that that's like a. When you meet me, you're like, oh yeah, he's right. he's got to be a, I, that guy is gonna be somebody someday. So, so I expected that I'd probably end up being an English teacher or something. I don't know. But, uh, or music? I can't even read music. That's the, that's the sad thing. Wow. I'm literally not qualified to teach music. I can understand, you know, bands sometimes that come and go. You guys have been, you know, staying the course, relevant for years and years, six albums. But I have to ask the question, if Fall Out Boy hadn't worked, did you have a plan B and what would it be? I feel like we're a band that's kind of just put everything into it, and if it doesn't work, we don't have any other plans. <laughs> we'll just hopefully figure it out. You know, and it seems like that's what makes it real and what keeps us inspired and keeps us, like, making music that matters because it's all we have. So that's my take. I mean, uh, I'm listening to the Fabulous album right now, and there's a line on there where he says, my plan B was to make my plan A work. So. Yeah, that's... Uh I don't know why I have this vivid memory of this Busta Rhymes interview where he was talking about how, like, literally that was the only option. Like, what, like yeah. succeeding was the only option, and that's kind of like, we didn't really leave ourselves a lot of leeway here. <laughs> yeah, right. or open a Saab dealership. Those are, pop, those are popular. That, yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, that's the most natural thing, I think. Yeah. 